If you think about the old model of scientific research, you'll probably think about Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein sitting alone in an ivory tower with a pen and paper coming up with some brilliant insights on their own. Science today looks nothing like that. Today, we have information across the world generated on hundreds of millions of patients that ultimately will contain more data than is on the servers of Facebook, Amazon, and Google combined. Mount Sinai is positioned to be leaders in the way science will be done in the future. There's an institutional commitment to leverage large data sets and make that at the center of how we do precision medicine. What we want to do is take to the next level many of the things that I've been passionate about over the last 15 years. Our goal is when a patient comes into Mount Sinai, we'll be able to measure millions of data points to characterize the molecular state of their disease in order to identify new drug targets and patient subpopulations that will best respond to specific drugs. The other area is developing informatics software systems so that large teams of researchers both across Sinai and across the world can work together to best analyze these large data sets in order to identify new drugs that we can rapidly bring to patients. What drew me to Mount Sinai was the possibility of being part of a program that will lead the way science will be done in the future. We have a dynamic culture that allows people to work together across the entire health system to solve big problems that can really only be done by large interdisciplinary teams. We're at the forefront of a tidal wave that's coming up behind us in terms of the amount of information that's going to be generated across patients around the world. And the ability to sit right in front of that tidal wave and develop programs at Mount Sinai where we can be at the cutting edge of how we interpret that data, how we develop new insights and bring those to patients is the most exciting area that I could imagine working in.